Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the Indianapolis Coat franchise here on Madden 24. It is week number 16, and it's the Indianapolis Colts against the Jacksonville Jaguars, the third week in a row that we have faced off against a division rival. Jacksonville comes in with a, um, I believe their record is 11 and 3 or 12 and 3. And they are second place in our division behind our um, 14 and 1, I believe. But they're second place. Uh, but Jacksonville is going to be a playoff team more than likely. And with a, with a record like they have, uh, then this could be a playoff preview. Don't know if we'll have to face them in the first round or not. Not sure about the logic on all that. But Jaguars are a number five offense at this point in the season, which is pretty much the end here. They've got a well-oiled machine on their offensive side. Meanwhile, our defense has been playing a lot better toward the end of the season here. We've had Julius Brintz, and we've had a lot of pressure coming to the quarterback from the line and the linebackers. So we'll see if that can continue today as we face off against Trevor Lawrence and the Jags. Let's get it. Trevor Lawrence, 3,304 yards, 30 touchdowns, eight interceptions. That is a reasonable stat line. And we're gonna come in and see if we can do something about that i should have looked at how the last time we played them went can't remember there's a pass over the right to the receiver number 13 i believe that is christian kirk yeah christian kirk with the catch for six yards we try to come in with a blitz and they punish us a little bit for that second and four another pass to the outside this one to ETN, who doesn't go down on the first tackle, shakes two coats, falls forward and gets the first down. Now let's see, what are we going to do? First and 10 on the 40 yard line, first down. Oh, pass, pass is caught. That's how I'm on the left side. That's number eight, I believe. Elijah Moore is the receiver on that catch. Right now, Jaguars moving down the field relatively easily. ETN causes the pole to miss the tackle. Normally a very sure tackler. Number 17 slips right by ETN, and that's another first down. And we have got to figure out what to do with these guys. There's a play, and that time Papo comes up and does get the tackle. Only allows a two-yard gain. Etienne Jr., one of the fastest runners in running backs in the league. They always have to worry about him and his speed. Quarterback is hit, but he's able to get the ball away. Third and eight. We're going to come out in the dime formation. Ooh, there's a part of me that wants to press forward. I'm not going to do it, though. Oh, and for some reason, he's wide open, and it's a touchdown pass to Evan Ingram, the tight end, and Jacksonville comes down the field easily. And not quite sure who's supposed to be on him. Maybe there's a mix-up on the defense between Bush and E.J. Henderson. C.J. Henderson, let's see what's happening here. So, number 17 comes up. There's three coats right in the area. Who's supposed to go with him? Oh, number zero gets in the way of, of Henderson. And 
I don't know what I don't know what Zero's doing. Oh, he's following the running back. Bumps his own defender and allows Evan Ingram to get wide open for the touchdown. Well, that is uh, unfortunate. Jacksonville with the touchdown. Wow, that was a very easy drive for them. Coast come in as the number one defense. Did not look like a number one defense on that drive. Mm. Anthony Richardson comes out for the first time. For the Colts, Anthony Richardson's had a pretty good season. Leading the league with 4,476 yards. Has 47 touchdowns and 25 interceptions. Also leading the league. I think all three of those numbers are league leading numbers. Yards, touchdowns, and interceptions. Pass is broken up by the safety. A little bit of a lazy throw. Richardson has uh, interesting, it, it feels like in the first quarter, he just doesn't get started well. It's almost like he needs to get warmed up before he can really get accurate with his passes. Mm. Hayward only gets five yards on what should have been probably a first down. We'll come right back to the same play. Push it outside. Mike we might try to quick pass out to Pierce. See if that let's see if they come in. They do. And Pierce with the catch. That's the first down. Catch to Kyle Pitts, and that was a nice throw. Threw the ball ahead of the receiver that time, and Pitts was able to fight for the reception. Let's take a look at this throw. Anthony Richardson throws it, and it's just inside. I mean, that's, that's a good throw. Receiver was on the outside and made room for that throw. First and 10 on the 25. Colts looking to score, trying to tie the game. First and 10, it's Richardson. Finds Pitts, he can keep going, can he? Gets down to the four yard line. Two plays to Cal Pitts, gets us down into scoring territory. First down and and 10 on the four, first down and goal. And they're gonna run out to the middle and Trey Hayward with the touchdown. Let's go. Colts, tie the game. Nice run on the inside. Finds the room that we need. And that's gonna tie the game up. Let's see if this defense can now come out and get itself together. A little bit of a slow start for the coach, but two big passes to Kyle Pitts and a scoring run by Trey Hayward gets the job done. Gets the job done. Well, the franchise finds itself in a really interesting spot. Uh, for those of you who've been rocking with us, thank you. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so. Thanks for liking the video and doing all the things. We're at a place where our team is rated very, ah, very good. And we could win a lot of games, which is not particularly interesting for, for these franchises. I hope you stick with it, though. I suspect that it's not just about... Oh, nice tackle by Bush. It's not just about getting to the Super Bowl, but what are you going to do when 
a lot of these players that we've been developing, particularly in the linebacker position, when those guys start demanding money. We're on a lot of rookie contracts. Quarterback is under duress and he has to throw the ball away. Fourth and nine, nice job by the defense. Able to get the stop where, where Jacksonville was scoring and moving the ball quickly, they stopped. But what, what we gotta worry about is our defense. We, we've been worked, we worked so hard to get this defense to where the defense is actually, you know, good. We, we last year, we just outscored everybody, had some breakouts with uh, offensive players. This is the first year that we've really seen like a dominant kind of, at times, dominant defense. Got the linebackers that we've been wanting to have finally kind of stepping up and playing well with their lanes. They're all kind of coming coming of age at the same time. But their contracts, I think, I think four or five of our contracts, I don't like this. Four or five of our contracts are on the linebackers are all expiring the same time. Hayward with a little run to the left. So it's going to be third and four. On the 47, I think this is four down territory. We might have to hit pits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got Pierce on the outside on plays like this. Although we might hit Pitts just to get the first down, unless they, he beats him. I think he is beating them. Oh, nice recovery by the by the corner. He was beat. Should have just went with. Hmm. It feels like Verdon is going to be the guy that's open. Verdon stays up. Oh, get your, get your foot. Oh, and he goes down with the injury. Oh, no. And the, the rookie receiver is going to go down. Looks like he's got some issues with his shoulders. Hopefully it's just a little bit of a de uh, dislocation. They put it back together and square him away. All right, so now you got Josh Downs in the game. Catch! Nice throw to Josh. Josh Downs, a, a highly underutilized player by us. Every time, we talk, every time I pass to him, I say he's underutilized. This is a nice throw up and over. He might have been able to catch this and turn it for a touchdown, but I chose possession catch. And so he caught it and went down. First and goal on the seven. Give the ball to Trey. Can he? Nope. I was about to say, can he get in? But before he even got started. Okay, Verdens can, can come back in the game. Second and goal. And that's the end of the first quarter is the Colts and the Jaguars tied up seven to seven. Colts on a seven yard line looking to punch it in and get the TD to go up. If, oh, if we could do it. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Probably not the best move here. Hayward fighting forward. Let's go. I thought he was down, but he stayed up and fell forward. Let's take a look at this play. What happened here? So we got Hayward. Thought he was tackled right here. Uh, throws him off of him and just pushes all the way down to the two yard line. That's the type. Let's go. That's the type of running I like to see. You know what? Let's get this man a touchdown. Why not? Why not? 
defensive guys what uh oh do we do this just may not be good either side they pick throwing it running it it won't be easy they'll run here on third and goal oh couldn't get in there nice stop by the by the dude I do. I, I want to get. And you know what you look at on your I want to get uh, two point conversion plays because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which can we do, do it? Like can we get to that? That's essentially what you're going for right now. We're going to uh, go the rest of the outside and we do a walk in touchdown for the Colts. It took all four downs, but we got there. Trey Hayward just gets to the touchdown, doesn't have much of a dance to do. But he's been there before, so we know what it's like. All right, so the score, 14 to 7. Yeah, I don't know if I finished my, maybe I did. I don't know if I finished my thought on, on the linebackers, but yeah, I think that's what the problem is. And here's the thing, with the linebackers that we have, and I'm talking about Owen Popo. I'm talking about Jeremiah Pickens. I'm talking about Trevor Winters. These are all players, man, that we drafted <laughs> or picked up in a trade who their numbers were pretty low. Some of those are third round draft picks and they have come up. So I, I don't want to trade them because I have a mental attachment to them. Nice play by Junior Claxton. We haven't heard his name. Oh, no, that wasn't Junior. That was Rivers. Hey, where is Rivers? Okay. Play. They try to run it to the right. ATN doesn't have much room. Third and seven. This time it's Henderson in on the play. And we're going to go with the contain. I think. wonder if. Let's come down here. Fisher. Oh, and they find the cool receiver anyway. Number eight with the catch, Elijah Moore. That's a first down. Hmm, tough. Catch number 300 now for his NFL career. Quarterback finds the receiver on the left. Only gets three yards, though. Second and seven. Calvin Ridley with the catch. And what do we want to do here? And I don't know what kind of... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of... Uh, offense that they're calling where our dudes are all out on the edges but oh etn with the i mean evan ingram with the catch and able to hold on to it despite despite what looked like to me a big hit second and three all right come on y'all let's get them off the field Oh, Pickens can't. And ETN has ETN has been pretty shifty because um, I'm telling you, normally Jeremiah Pickens and uh, Popo are sure tacklers, and both of them have gotten in the backfield, and ETN has shooken them up. And there's Ingram with the catch. Three minutes left in the first half. Jags are moving down the field nicely. Let's go off of this. They find Evan Ingram once again. All right, we're gonna try to bring. We're gonna try to bring the blitz. Still good yardage. 
Uh, that was a blitz, and I didn't see nobody blitzing. Tank Bisbee with the run, and he gets the first down. Did 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 our players blitz? I mean, we should have ran right up the middle. I'm curious, did we? Okay, we did. Forty-four. Forty-four ran right into a block. Where is thirty-five going? Oh, he's following the receiver. Okay. Uh-huh. Got it. Call to play one more time. I'm gonna step back a little bit. Lawrence has to throw the ball quickly, and this time overthrows it. I'm gonna come out in 4 3. Lawrence overthrows once again. And it would be a win for us if we can get. If we can get a field goal here. Etienne breaks the tackle, but he's out of bounds. Fourth and five. They try to get us with the screen play. That play worked for the Raiders. This time we are able to get on it. Ah. And the kick is up and it is good. Jacksonville with the points to make the lead a little bit smaller. 14 to 10 is where we're at. With a minute 45, maybe this offense can score and we've done it in less time. We have done it in less time. Mm. Trey Hayward comes out. He's got two touchdowns, but he's only got 21 yards. Uh, let's see what we got here. We'll call one of our favorites. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well? This Pass over the left. Might be able to go right back to Verdon on this play. There he is. Run up the middle. After the reception. It looks like he's back and feeling good. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, Pitts. I'm going to call timeout. 36 seconds left. Ball on the 19. Uh-oh. Play action pass to... Oh, well, maybe not. Well, maybe. Let's see what that safety does. Play action. Finding you know who. Alec Pierce for the touchdown. The play action in the crossing pattern. Ooh, he might be out of bounds. Oh, are they gonna are they gonna booth review this? Ah, uh, it, it this could come back. Ooh, wait, the tippy toe though. The tippy toe catch. Oh wait, I think that's in now. No, they're going to undo that. There is a no go for the touchdown. 
flip it and reverse it. All right, second and ten. Back to the air with Richardson. Once again, we'll call timeout here with 23 seconds left. Third and one. Oh no, I didn't see him there. He was hiding. I did not see him. I thought it was wide open. And then he was hiding because he was on the uh <laughs> on the uh the the I guess he was kind of camouflaged, I guess. I didn't see him until after I threw it. I thought this was yeah, this guy right here, I thought he, he was hiding based on my what I could see. And I did not see him at all until I threw it. Mm, I thought this dude was wide open and intercepted. Ah, oh, my G. All right, well. This is still a one possession game, and that's at least a field I'm not going to let them score the down the field here. Two of the best offenses in the game. 14 to 10 is the score. All right, you know, we'll allow it. They can run it again for all I care. ETN brought down. Jacksonville is using their timeouts. Big hit, and that's the last timeout, so this will be... Oh, they're going to go for the field goal here. Kick is up and it's sh short. No good. They try to kill her. <laughs> they try to bootsy that much. All right. So 14 to 10 codes over the Jaguars. Good game so far. Both offenses have had some success and both defenses have had some success. So it's going to be whoever has the best second half is going to win the game. Tennessee gives it is beaten by the Texans. Tackled by Loa. Only 150 yards in that game. But that's enough to get it done. Derrick Henry with 23 carries. And a touchdown. And that may be his last, one of his last games against that team. The Bears, 2-13. and 13-0 and over the Packers, though. And the Bears struggling. Devontae Adams best receiving target over there and the Eagles over the commanders right now both teams are 10 and 5 they're fighting for their place in the NFC West that's going to be a heck of a game if you have your TV clicker maybe you should flip back and forth between this game and that one or you could just stay here this is a 14 to 10 game against teams who don't particularly like each other they're fairly evenly matched at least they are playing that way so this could be a determinative second half number 89 has nowhere to go toe bridge From 14 to 10 Good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. Cut it to the inside and got a couple more yards. Seven to be precise total. Second and three. Off play action. Richardson. Pass. Caught by Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is feeling it right now. What is Kyle Pitts's 
It's uh, mid and elite. But what's his? I think he's a secure catcher. Now it's Richardson. Another interception again, and I didn't see him over there either. Ah. Kyle Pitts was open before the route, but I thought he needed to complete the route. And again, I didn't see the guy. I don't know why these guys are hiding from me. Ooh. Maybe I thought he was running. No, I, but I didn't see him. I legit just didn't see him. And then all of a sudden, there he is. They play the zone, and that zone took care of business. Okay. Not good. Elijah Moore with the catch. Gotta change this. Alright, let's come on defense. Okay, they're switching it up. Quarterback, and we finally get him. Short comes in and makes the tackle. Trevor Lawrence finally goes down. Finally. Sheesh. Second and seven. And Lawrence, they, we bring in the blitz. They do read it. They go for the screen, but it wasn't enough. Third and 17 now. Oh, right up the middle. And ETN gets like 13. They fall down to the four. And they're going to have to kick the field goal here and get it to a one-point game if they can make it. Kick is up and it's good. It's a game, ladies and gentlemen. It is a game. And two two mysteries by me. All right, let's see if we can get something on the run. Nice job by the safety to come up and seal the edge. Richardson now on second down. Pierce is wide open. They they had him. I don't think they even had him covered. Completely selling out on the run. Trey Hayward does get the first down, and he's injured now. Looks like he's holding his wrist as he as he has. And whenever that happens, we usually want to let the defense know that we're not afraid to run. And Moss gets a couple yards. Ooh, he feels a little slow. Moss is, uh, has received a contract extension this season. Nice pass to Alec Pierce. That's third and two. 
And it looks like Hayward is not going to return for this game. Third and two on the 48-yard line. Let's go. Moss is able to get the first down and some. Big run for him. First and 10 on the 34. Play action. And they find Pierce once again. Oh, Jacksonville's going to challenge. This will be the second time that Alec Pierce has been challenged on a catch. Let's see what this one does. Oh. I think he's That's in. Caught one. Oh my gosh! Yes, don't tell. Did he not? First and goal. Looks like they're going to keep it. Falls forward and he's in. Touchdown. Zach Moss. And it's nice. The Colts want to see it. The star running back is on the bench. Zach Moss is coming in. And had two pretty good runs. That's a nice, nice job taking the contact and falling into the end zone. Touchdown for the Colts. Lead by seven. Thought about going for two here. Kick is up and it is good. Two minutes left in the third quarter. 21 13. Two minutes left in the third. Travis Etienne has been decent. Oh, they did catch me with the with the play action. Catch is made, and they are getting close. to strike quickly and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps so on the other side of the ball you've got to go band of brothers it's first and goal on the eight no pointing fingers no accusations because if you don't those quick strikes we just saw they become long-lasting here's Lawrence oh nice break up by number 26 I believe that's Rivers what's he doing over there I wonder, can we do this? I want to come out in the quarter formation. No, sir, and the quarterback draw is brought down by Owen Popo. Third and goal. Can I'm talking to you. Oh, 
And Lawrence is under pressure, and he has to throw the ball away. And once again, the red zone defense stands up. Doesn't give up the touchdown. Going to give up the field goal here, but that's a win. Kick is up. And goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drive. Oh, can he get there? I can't turn the corner and get too much, but that's a nice game by by the kick returner. The indie offense at the line and set to go. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time we talk about balance is running. Nice run, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. They say balances. We do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. All right, second and six on the 48-yard line. Zach Moss in for Trey Hayward. And Moss breaks one tackle. Gets just a few yards. Third and five. Might get pits here. And make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes. So they can't or. Uh, Alec Pierce there with the catch. There's the throw. I mean, I think we had several, several players. But that was definitely, he's wide open. How does he get caught from behind? I don't know. But. Following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Now Richardson. Pass over in the middle. Josh Downs can't get there. Second and one. Could go to Pierce. There he is in the catch. Touchdown, Coates. Alec Pierce with another touchdown. Stands in the pocket. He's wide open. Ah. All right, with six minutes left, that makes it a two-score game. Ten-point lead. Defense playing decently. Honestly, we get an interception here. I'm going to call it. I'm calling interception. Isaiah Rogers, number 35. That's who we're calling it. Let's see if it happens. Mostly because I want Isaiah Rogers to uh, get closer for the it, it lead interceptions for the year. Is he even in a game? There he is. Yeah, Rogers. Well, not an interception if this is happening. ETN runs to the outside, and number 29 is there to make the tackle. No matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it. Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. Now Lawrence to throw. Tearing it out. Looking for Ridley. Ball is overthrown. Junior Claxton there. With the receiver. Going for the knockout blow right there. 
Let's see what we got here. We're going to go switch this up. And Lawrence is way off. I think maybe he thought he had something there, but didn't. Oh, he's wide open. They find the tight end. First down for Jackson, Jacksonville, and they stay alive. We're going to press. This is a run. Nope. Nice. Way to knock the ball out. That's number 35. You need to catch it, man. That would have been an interception. Try one more time. We're going to press. fun to watch his closing speed and another example of it on that play. And is the ball caught? I think the ball is caught. Yes, it was a reception. All right, one more time. Pressing up. Got to watch out for Calvin Ridley on this play. Oh, and he drops it. That's exactly who he went to, Calvin Ridley. And that was a first down. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Got some issues. Find a guy. Calvin really with the first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. It's all right. We don't mind this. Uh, them taking a little more time. Come on, Tyree Wilson. Get some. Tackle brought down by Owen Popo. Two yards. And the ball is overthrown or uh, inaccurately thrown. Third and eight, 34-yard line. We're going to stay in this quarter formation. They're having to pass the ball, but don't like this. Switch this up a little bit. Pass is broken up. All right, fourth and eight. This could seal the deal. Oh. Lawrence is overthrowing his quarter, his receiver, and and that will probably do it. It's three minutes left, so it's it's a lot of time, but. What happened on this play? Let's take a look. And we're just, we're covering. All right, so no one's open. This guy is open. Come across the middle. Zero. And I think that's who they throw to, but he overthrows it. Oh, yeah. That is up. Well, I don't know. Really, I don't know. Really should have been able to track that ball. That's a catchable ball. That actually isn't. Maybe that's because number nine is there to uh, disrupt the uh, the timing of that a little bit. Is that pass interference? No, it might have been pass interference. First and 10 on the 34-yard line. Zach Moss looking to try to get the running going and keep this clock moving. Decent start, but now 
it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball. Ready. Getting it away from them because making good tackles. Alec Pierce with the catch. And they are sold out on the run there. Pierce with. Over 100 yards. Pierce with over 100 yards. Moss. On the give up the middle. Moss. Nice run. He got six rushes for 49 yards. There he is, just sitting on the bench, waiting to be used. And here we are with a two-minute warning. <clears throat> Close up by 12 points. And in another scoring position, we're going to stay in our handy dandy eye form formation two minutes away and get out of here with a victory five points of contact necessary oh I tried to spin away from him first down and now right out of the two minute break we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go now it looks like he'll throw here escaping the pressure right ah deflected I think that's going to take Alec Pierce out of the zone. Yeah, it does. This is like a zone play, and therefore not a lot on the run. Actually, let's uh, let's switch this up. Moss. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for this fourth and two. Keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. Too easy. You have to know that we're going to him, especially they, they played off of him. Now hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort. This is pretty much over with. The Jaguars with no more timeouts. This game pretty much over after this run Zach Moss second and goal I need to get this clock moving get it down to a minute here but the game is pretty much over. Nice patience. And gets down to the three yard line. Well, might as well give him a chance. Right up the middle and it's Zach. Moss might as well reward him with a touchdown. And they get it done 35 to 16. Colts with the win with 34 seconds left in the game so far, but. We all know how this one is going to end up. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Kick is up. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee. Still maybe, I don't know, maybe they try to throw the ball. Would like to get an interception. Oh, Tyree Wilson should have been there to make the tackle, but uh, make the sack. Couldn't get there. Second and ten. As they continue to as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. On second down, Lawrence. Quarterback has to throw the ball away again. Crowd the throwing lanes. 
Lawrence will throw. A short throw to Ingram. Pass to Ingram. And he's out of bounds, and that's the end of that. Turnover on downs. And we'll take the knee and get out of here. There it is. Coast with the win, 35 to 16. Of course, you knew that about a minute and a half ago. We had to play out that last, those last few minutes. Nice win by the Colts. A little adversity, especially in the first half. Hopefully we don't have Trey Hayward out of the game for a long period of time, but Alec Pierce and company able to come through and make the plays necessary. Richardson with two interceptions, one touchdown, 314 yards. Zach Moss with 65 yards and two TDs. Trey Hayward with two TDs. Alec Pierce, eight receptions, 124 yards and a touchdown for him. Kyle Pitts, 93 yards, and Vernon with 64. Solid, solid effort by all. Ronald Sherrod has come up, and he's been a solid free safety player for us. He's got seven tackles in this game. Junior Claxton with seven. Isaiah Rogers with five. One pass deflection. I feel like there should be more pass deflections. Um... But, you know, decent game, fun game, fun game to play against a division rival. Just looking to get to the exciting stuff. If the next game is not particularly interesting, um, we may not post it. I'll play it and record it. But if it's not all that interesting, we may just go straight. I don't know. I, I, this part of me wants you guys to see as many games as possible. Um, I think we need yeah, short routes. I think this slot is what we want. See if we can get him short routes. There we go. Plus three for short route. Man, but he is he is great right now. Look at these. Look at those numbers. If we can get that release um, going pretty well. Man, he's just gonna be a beast. A beast. All right, let's see. Trench boost. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to get a lot of running yards. We didn't get that many. Coach, another solid week on the ground. It feels like no matter what you ask for the offensive line, they're up to the task. How many yards did we get? I don't even know. Okay. So everyone gets 2,500 on the offensive line. We'll take it. We will take it. Advance the week to the last game of the season it's the Cincinnati Bengals they're a good team I believe yeah 10 and 6 with a with a great offense hmm. let's take a look at a couple couple things we have here unstoppable force Coach, your task with facing the Bengals in their high-powered offense this week. Where does stopping them start? We're going to try stopping the run. Beat the Bengals, allow 75 yards or less on the ground. Uh, that's going to be tough to do. Marquee QB matchup this week between Joe Burrow and Anthony Richardson. What do you expect? Who are you expecting? Actually, I expect both of these plays, both of these to step up. We're going to go with Anthony Richardson, though. These battles are always fun to bring out the best. Each guy wants to win and outdo the other, so I'm fully expecting Richardson to have a big day. Four touchdowns. I mean, that's, that's doable based on how we've been playing definitely doable all right quick look at the Bengals team and let's see what they are talking about and then we'll wrap this particular episode up again thanks for hanging out with us those of you who are like the video if you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you know when the game's go live 
Joe Burrow's a 99 overall quarterback. It's going to be a beatdown. Joe Mixon, a solid receiver of a running back. And then Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. Sheesh. 99 quarterback, 99 receiver, and a 94 receiver. Mm. It's just going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge for our offense. Orlando Brown. Mm. Okay. We may be able to get something on the right side. Solid defense. Okay, linebacker's a little weak on the left. Okay. Okay, we may be able to pass the ball. All right, so, yes, yeah, it's shaping up to be an offensive shootout for sure. All right, I think that'll do it. Thanks for hanging out once again. I appreciate you. This is Pastors Game 2. I'll see you guys on the next one. God loves you and so do I, and I will see you when I see you. Peace.